She says that shut off don't work, so we'll have to see. We'll shut it off. We'll try putting water on this. Well, I guess it don't work, does it? Oh. You're not working, Mama. We need to change it. Shut the water off there. Put all the spray foam in this house. Yeehaw! A little crawl space. It ain't so bad. I could walk down here. Yeah, the water leak out here, so I can work on the valve. Alright, guys, you can see this is a Simmons valve. This is the replacement right here. Let's see if I can get this thing apart and <coughs> use some shots. First thing I'll do is I'll pull this drain out for now. Take these four screws out off this plate. These aren't the greatest shut off valves, they're kind of known to give you problems. Change a lot of these things. Kind of very popular. So it's a wall box. So I'll just pop it off. You can see the valve in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this one here. The black is going to be the hot. Uh, yeah, it'll be the hot. This way I know what, what goes where. The water should be off, so we'll crack those. We <clears throat> burst hoses, so that's good. this valve and put it right back together so shouldn't be that big of a deal. There's washers here, and then there's, there's black washers on the back side. No, these don't always, these don't always seal good. You gotta be careful. Those all like that. The black washers on the back need to be changed. They're rubber. These will pop off. The new valve comes with new, new washers. I'll replace those too. Alright, 
press it on the washer goes in here like that. Yeah, the washer. <coughs> Alright guys, the new one comes with a handle. See the angle on it? The one that was on it had a straight handle. So I'm putting the original handle back on there because this one, if I, I guess I could put this one on there, but sometimes they don't line up right. So I'll just go with the original handle. From the old valve. <clears throat> so that just goes on there like that. And if them rubbers don't line up right, there might be an issue. What I usually like to do is um, loosen these up in the back a little bit. So when this pulls in, it pulls in where it needs to go. Yeah, see how it goes in easier. So a nut and wash it, it goes on the outside like that, see? It? Same thing with this one, we'll put the new nut in the washer. Now before I turn the water on full, I will uh, I'll just turn it on quickly and shut it off because sometimes these washers don't fit proper in the back and they leak like a sieve, so we'll tighten this up. <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll put some paper towels around here. We'll turn the water on and shut it off quickly, see if there's any leaks. Then if there's no leaks, we can leave it on because uh, it's been I've had problems with these not sealing properly in the back in the past you don't want to flood the guy's house out you know <clears throat> I'm gonna go in the back and I'll tighten them them two screws back up that I loosened all right see if I get some paper towels and we'll, uh, we'll put some paper towels in the internal water on Somebody likes pigs. Alright, so if that leaks, we'll, we'll have water all over the paper towel. So far, so good, Mama. I don't see any water. is backwards so I don't hit the camera for you guys so don't mind me
on, you could see that the handles weren't right, they wouldn't line up, so we've got the cover back on, we'll put the drain in there and Screws loose, Mama. Got a couple of screws loose. Make sure we put that drain back in there. That's for sure. We have a flood. Put the drain back. Wouldn't hurt to pull this pull tie on there too so the drain can't pop out. This pull tie. I don't want the drain popping out. Not today. This way the drain can't pop out, you know. Next level. You can see the new valve comes with um, solder on adapters, but I could use the old ones a lot of times. You can see the old handle had a bend to it. No good. I could have straightened it out, but I'll just use the new ones. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay. Valves working fine, okay? Alright guys, I got the wash and dryer back together and you can see the valves in the back there. It's all tight and no leaks. And we're good. some filters for our air conditioner, six filters, and I'll leave the old valve box there so she knows I changed it. I'll send her a bill. And I took the pleated filter out and I put one of the blue ones in there for more airflow. That's what we want.